what's happening rise up 44 here on nalio gaming in this video we're going to be checking out hamrick a new game on the playstation 4 well, let's jump right in A long time ago, the four kingdoms of Estria were locked in constant war. After many years of fighting, a new dark enemy arrived from beyond the ocean shores. They ravaged the weakened lands. When all hope was lost, a young king, Eudolf, and his men discovered an ancient power high in the mountains. With it, he vanquished the invaders and united the kingdoms under his, under his banner. The limitless source of magic was wielded only by the new kingdom's most skilled men and women. They were called the Word Warriors. As the new kingdom brought prosperity to some regions, others would fall into oblivion. In one of its poor towns lives a young boy. His story is yet to be written and his name would never be forgotten. Hamrick. Hamrick noticed a strange book with a quill next to it. A scribe by a profession. He would normally use an inkwell, but he never before thought to use his own blood. What an idea. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Alright, so... We have blood dripped from his hand as he signed his name on the books first page immediately he felt his body fade away this is crazy so I'm going to be playing and reading at the same time this is interesting Hamrick had heard whispers of legends that told of, his, of a strange key one that opened a rusty old door That's cool. What's up with that? Alright, every time we see stars, we hold triangle. This is interesting. X to jump. <laughs> Beyond was a strange place, so dry that rain seemed never to have touched it. This made any sort of fire very dangerous. This is freaking cool. Yeah. Far away, the remains of L1 R1. That's cool. Far away, the remains of a battle filled the view. Among the debris, a sword could be seen, which no doubt belonged to a brave soldier who fought there. Grab me a sword. How do I pull my sword back out? Oh, I gotta go back up. Oh, oh, no. 
So if I... If I pick up... I mean, if I throw the sword, that's it. I can't pick it back up. Nope. I gotta go get a new one. That's my life right there, H-A-I-M-R-I, -I, and he took a K from me. I like that. <laughs> He's split in half. <laughs> Jesus. This is crazy. I love it. It wasn't a pretty place. Blood and dirt mixed to form grotesque mud. Nearby lay buckets that were probably used to douse flames. buckets now. There was a crossbow and arrows on the ground, no doubt left by the archers hidden in the back of an old castle. Come on. This is awesome. That was amazing. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, oh shoot. Man, they really did a number of them. I need help. Oh, he needs to use a crossbow and a few arrows to defeat the dragon. Jesus, I ran right into that. Why, where's my stars? Where the heck are my stars? Dude. Oh, crossbow. Arrows. What the hell? I got like one left. Good thing I got this shield. What's he doing? Oh shoot, not good. That was crazy, man. He needs you to cross one of yours. Okay.
is awesome, dude. What a game. Definitely interesting. Oh, no. No, he got me twice there. up red. I want to see what happens when he fills it. Oh, that's what you want to do. You want to let it fill up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't make it in time. You better go, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, quick time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is such a cool game, dude. I love it. Dreaming with Dragons. Bronze PlayStation Trophy. We landed right in. <laughs> that dream felt so real. Thankfully, it's all over and I can start my peaceful day. Look for Jelena. This is my latest transcribed book. What what to do when facing an apocalypse. Step one. Wait, is that a smudge? Better start over. Nothing but perfection for my customers. potions she always she's always trying to make people feel better remember to always treat people kindly my dear this is so heavy and I have to be in the parade aren't you going it's in the other side of town. Oh, I didn't know. I guess I can see Jelena afterwards. Closed due to parade. One C Company presents. Everything's closed for the parade. A below the game creation. Hey, Rick. Hey, the parade started. What's going on, Baldwin? The king is on his annual tour for Unification Day. This year, he's decided to grace Sinisa with his divine presence. He rides in on a cavalry while I work like a slave to afford mule food. I didn't know you have a mule. I don't. At least we have Jelena in this godforsaken town. Her beef flows free. <laughs> what? Hey, Hemrick. Here's an idea. Let's race to Jelena's. Last one to the water well buys the beer. You're on. Which way are we going? Left? Yep. Meet at the left of town. Okay. I to jump over all sorts of stuff. Row one. Go ahead and wait for me at the bar. I'm going to help this wimp with his buckets. When you see Jelena, keep your drool out of the beer, okay? Ha! Oh, Baldwin. <laughs> what the hell? He just keeps on tripping. <laughs> what 
the hell, dude? I can't go by him. What the heck? He's like puking. Here we go. Oh, this guy's puking. He's drunk. Man, he's puking a lot. He drank a little bit too much. Oh, look at Jelena. That's why he likes her. <laughs> Everybody's passed out. This looks great. Maybe it was even done by Jelena. So yummy. I can't understand why people like this. It was such a shame to be embarrassed in front of Jelena because of this. I'm never tasting it again. Hello, handsome. What brings you here? Oh, it's you. Have you come to bring me your rent money? Not yet, but I just started transcribing a new book. Someone is sure to buy it. Hamrick, no one in this town has ever bought your books. Excuse me while I serve actual customers. Of course, I understand. I'll just go downstairs now. Oh, is there something new? No, it's an old story. A tale of a pirate queen who sails her ship across the world. Just another book no one will ever care about. Most likely, but why don't you bring it to me? I might as well take a look and forgive some of your debt as a favor to you. That's so nice of you, Jelena. I'll bring it right up. Bring me that book. She is mean. Look for a book to share with Jelena. Finally, my library. A scribe's true home. Where did that come from? I've never seen it before. Someone would have to trust pass in order to get a book here with, without Jelena or I noticing. Look at how old the leather binding is. The ink is fading from the page. A book this old must be valuable. I'd better take this and have a closer look. Go upstairs to see what's going on. Whoa. What was that? What did, what did I just do? Shoot! I didn't... I didn't see what happened. I pressed square too quick. I hate that and you can't go back. That really makes me mad. Hammerick sighed. Strange book. Like the one in his dream. He grabbed... It. But as he did, the tavern door was broken down by an ogre and some soldiers. Behind them strode Murdoch, a powerful, she's giving him the finger, <laughs> a powerful ice warlock. With the wave of his hand, he froze everyone. <laughs> he froze everyone in the tavern except Hamrick. He had come for a book, Hamrick's new book. He remembered what he saw in his dream and he cut his hand with the quill. Something incredible happened. <laughs> Hamrick was inside the book with the sword he needed, as well as the tavern's torch and the barrel containing gunpowder for the... the fireworks. Unfortunately, the enemy soldiers were also there.
what the heck? Man, that didn't go so good. That did not go so good. You can't carry the torch and the sword. Only one or the other. So, let's see what we got here. Oh. oh boy, okay, here we go. This is this is it right here. We got this. Actually, you know what? Let's try this. No, we can't get we can't. I was gonna try to grab the gunpowder first. Gunpowder first. Wow, he almost got me there at the end. Boom shakalaka! <laughs> Bronze PlayStation trophy. Alright, so now we need... Torch. Gunpowder. No, just torch. Fireworks again. Walking over a bridge of words. Hammer grabbed the sword for protection. He had to carefully avoid gaps in the words. And then the ogre appeared too. Shoot. So the word gaps. That was so stupid to me. I don't know why I did that. So, Ogre is going to appear. Dummy. Murdoch, huh? Torch Iceberg, okay. <clears throat> Okay, magic of his metal wand. Blast Hamrick with deadly beams until his enemy was had only a burning torch as a weapon to defeat his foe. He'd have to attack at the speed of light. Oh, that's cool. Got him. No, I didn't. <clears throat> This is cool. This is cool. Oh, come on, man. How the heck? Why didn't that get him? I don't get it. Okay, I got him once. Come on. So, he's only got a little bit of health left. We should be able to get him right here. 
Right here. We got him. We got him. Sweet. His hand's gone. That was awesome. That's an interesting boss fight right there. I better unfreeze everyone. Perhaps the torch downstairs will be useful. I wish I knew what that said. I'm going to have to look back in post and uh, freeze that frame and read what it said. Because now I really want to know what that said. Be free. Good, now she's able to go on her own. Uh-oh. Um, my arm? Wait a minute. I got my arm back from the book. That's cool. <laughs> he wants more arms. <laughs> What is going on? Algernon will hang you in the town gallows for this. You're coming with me. Awesome. You defended me. Why? Ah ha What now? Did you think you had defeated me so easily? Oh boy, what do we got now? Murdoch was still alive. He used his book and absorbed Hamrick and the Lioness to fight inside his word world. This is so cool, dude. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is so smart. The Lioness and Hamrick fell while Murdoch summoned his guardian animal, a polar bear made of ice. It scared the heck out of them both. And it started a chase that would define the fight once and for all. What the heck? Alright. He's got an ice polar bear. I have a lioness. Murdoch started shooting beams to hammer. And then he tried the ice pillars to defeat him. But when Hamburg had to defend himself and lioness using... His trusty crossbow, Hamrick, could use... Oh my gosh. The arrows found on the way. <laughs> um, Maybe the chandeliers, but... Way to shoot. Maybe the chandeliers, but the most effective... The ones he used ignited. But it was easily beams. And then... Again, beams all over the place. Murdoch attacking constantly, and more ice pillars in the middle of the way. But Hamrick had the chance again to attack between the beams and the ice pillars that kept coming. He had a little counter with more arrows, chandelier, even with the stalactites, previous ice pillars. Incoming beams. I don't know what to do. More arrows. Oh, chandelier. That's what we need to do. There we go. That's what we need to do. Oh, we can shoot the animal. Oh, that's what, what's up, dude. We got to get more in the chandelier. Oh, no. I got one letter left.
Okay, here we go. Yes. Oh my god, that was close. I had an H left. The winter is come isn't coming. The winter isn't coming. Bronze PlayStation trophy. This game is nuts and I love it. Very well done. <laughs> the lioness has has the wizard now. You gonna save her or what, dude? Be the hero, man. You brainless spawn of a mudfish. The day I decided to rent you my basement, I knew you were strange. A man who transcribes books in a town where no one reads. But even I could have foreseen this. You killed a word warrior. He killed me first. When Murdoch is discovered missing, King Udolf will place a bounty on his killer. Soldiers will tear the town apart. If we don't cover this up, we'll be hung at the gallows like puppets. Just look at all the bodies I have to clean up. Get away from here. I never want to see you again. This book is nothing but trouble. I w wonder if mom will have any advice. Oh, wait. <laughs> She's not saying that anymore. Now I'm saying that. This book is nothing but trouble. I wonder if mom will have any advice. Leave the tavern. She's pushing me. Stop pushing me, dude. Stop pushing me. Stop it. I stop. Stop pushing me. You cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Hey, I don't like being. Don't. She pushed me out the door. He's still puking. All this happened, and you're still puking, dude. Jeez. Hamrick, what did you put in the basement? That would be, uh, <laughs> Panthera Leo of the class Mammalia and the order, uh, Carnivora. And you let it loose in the tavern? Mistakes were made. You will get rid of this thing, or else. Get rid of it? I can't get near it without losing an arm. I better ask mom for advice. <laughs> Maybe the hero of uh, Sinisa will carry one of my buckets. I'll carry a bucket. Give me a bucket, dude. Why can't I carry a bucket? Alright, well, I can't carry a bucket. What have we got here? Care for a love potion? Guaranteed to reveal your true love. A liar. It didn't work last time. For those who do not follow the steps precisely, the potion will not release its magic. Follow these steps. One to two drops mixed with ice water at room temperature must be drunk from the opposite side of the cup. Oh, I see. Maybe next time then. Tell your friends. <laughs> Back in my day, girls never used to own taverns. We aspired to be fighters like Queen Mariam. The best of the king's word warriors. There's another word warrior? I thought there were only four. Three now, aren't there? Algernon, the soldier. Witter, the sage. And the vilest of them all, the snake. The assassin word warrior. What happened to Queen Mariam? She died. Prince Leofric is all that remains of her. Ask mom for advice. What have we got going on here? Hello, youngling. Which of my exotic beasts can I send home with you today? No, thank you. I already have one. In that case, would I like to sell it? Yes, I would actually. I would very much like to sell it. Have you heard? Murdoch, the word warrior, is defeated. It's time for a revolution, my friend. Hello, Hamrick. What are you doing here? Looking for some weapons to defend my mom. You've got a good heart, kid, but leave the fighting to Baldwin. Yeah, maybe you're right. Thank you. 
Did you hear? The hero of uh, Sinisa killed Murdoch. I won't be bullied into giving royal soldiers free fruit again. The hero of Sinisa can't save you from scurvy. Fresh fruit, fresh fruit here. <laughs> oh man. Kids these days say they want a revolution. Back in my day, we didn't go around killing word warriors. Mule food is good enough for me. <laughs> what? A word warrior dead? Eh, poppycock. <laughs> you think so? Back in my day, word warriors were truly fearsome. They could regenerate limbs, ride dragons, and even summon polar bears. Poor old man, he's speaking gibberish. <laughs> I don't know if what they say about the hero of Sinisa is true, but the people have started to hope again. Maybe that's the miracle. Hey, Merrick, friend. Did you hear someone killed Murdoch? Maybe it was an accident, a terrible, terrible accident that we should try and all forget. It was no accident. Whoever did that must have immersed power to defeat, or to defeat a word warrior. People are calling him Hero of the Sinisa. My boy, the time has finally come for a revolution. It's burning time. <laughs> the king's taxes left me nothing. Good riddance to his word warrior Murdoch, I say. If the hero of Sinisa is so great, maybe he can perform his second miracle and get Baldwin to show up for work. Orders are, no one shall pass. Right, let's go get advice from mom. I'm done doing all my uh, voices that I'll never remember what they sound like again. What the hell, dude? Alright, mom's here. Good to see you home, son. Did you finish your chores? No, but mom, I need your help. I've freed a homicidal beast in the basement of Jelena's tavern. Oh dear, that won't do it all. What type of creature is it? A panthera leo of the class Mammalia and the order of Carnivoria. Yes, a lioness in the common tongue. Here's what you need to do. Get a well-crafted cage of sherry cage of sharia wood a wrought iron cellar for control and finally a draft a draft so potent it could put a two-ton elephant to sleep using those tools you can tame your lioness i should get all these things now before jelena decides to kill me before you go always remember to be kind to people even if it's difficult because that is often when it's the most important what what are you saying mom be kind, listen, and teach others to do the same. Words have power, and the power of words would change the world. Okay, Mom. I'll see you later. Great advice. That was wonderful. Thank you, Mom. Thank you for the advice. Okay. We have nothing up here that can help us, right? Probably not. Nope, nothing. Potion? No, no potions for me. See you, ma. Thanks for the great advice. Um, let's see. Yeah, this will do. Can I interest you in a new pet? Or food for one? Actually, I need a cage crafted with strong Shirian, Shir Shira wood. It needs... To hold a lion. How delight delightfully unusual, but never fear. All customers leave satisfied at my store. Return in two weeks and you shall have your cage. But I need it now. Impatient are we? To make a cage to hold a lion, I need wood imported from foreign lands. These things take time, my youngling. Mom did say words have power. I wonder what else this book can do. Here we go. No. <laughs> Slices his hand up again. The journey started with a sword to travel safely in the small boat, even if it had soldiers on it, and they had it to hurry. The winds of the revolution.
Got me. I got his face, though. I got his face. Small boat. There we go. Okay. All right. So sword, then small boat. Open the sail. There we go. There we go. Yes. Arriving at the destination, a broken crossbow laid at the beach. There were rare animals from a small harmless rat. There were rare animals from a small harmless rat. What? Crossbow. Come back, actually. Nope, we're okay. Crocodile. Shoot. Mm. All right, let's feed the let's feed the snake, and then we're gonna have to feed. What the hell? Awesome. Teeth as sauce. Using the ip tree to get the materials and What an awesome game.
find the smuggle, uh, smuggle, suggested items. Thank you for the cage, sir. That was most kind of you. What just happened? Hello, youngling. Which of my exotic beasts can I send home with you today? No, thank you. I already have one. Would you like to sell it? Yes. Where's the cage? So I already have it? What the heck? What else do I need? Linus probably here's what Linus probably here's what you could do. Get a good cage. Okay, I got the cage. Liquor and finally an iron collar. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, we need an iron call, call it from him. Hey, Hamrick. Say, when you learn to use a good sword, when will you learn to use a good sword? This morning, actually, but I need something else. Can you make a raw iron collar? Sorry, kid, I'm a bit short on, ar on iron. I can't talk. Sorry, kid, I'm a bit short on iron. If you can find some scrap metal, I could make something for you. I can take a sword from the tiny people in the book. Kid, you should go outside. The fumes are getting are addling your brain. I will be right back. Hey, where are you going? Going to get some, uh, some iron from the swords in the book. From the little people. You had access to all sorts of dynamite and the tools like the pickaxe, but aside of the torch, you had one fuse. You were at the entrance... Pickaxe. All right, so we got a dynamite and a pickaxe. Torch. Okay, dynamite. Okay, let's go put the dynamite down. Shoot, it disappeared. Oh, that's right. I got to pick up the stuff. I got a fuse. I put it together with the dynamite. Okay. Now we need the torch. Dang, that was close. Goblins blocking the way to try to get the materials for themselves. Inside, you could see some water and some buckets, but for then you saw a torch next to some tar and an angry, violently goblin near some far fixed explosives. him with this, I guess. 
shoot, that's not doing anything to him. Why can't I get that? What? That was crap. What am I supposed to do here? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, I'm an idiot. Bucket of tar, duh. So silly. I can't believe I just killed myself. I cannot believe I just killed myself. I am such a moron sometimes. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I should have just left him alone. He's going to walk into the explosives. He's using his bones from his arms as canes? What the hell? Or no, no, no. I don't know where those bones came from. He's a goblin. Who knows? He's going to go blow up, though. This is so crazy. I love it. And, of course, I freaking died anyways. What the hell? This freaking game. Of course I did. Chill up here. I still died. All right, um, I got an idea. That's how you do it. Jeez. That's pretty awesome. This game is pretty amazing. It really is. We need uh, some liquor from Jelena. Lekka. Hey, Jelena, can I get some booze? Are you here to take the murder cat? No, Jelena, I've failed you. I need one more thing. A draft so potion, so <laughs> potion, a draft so potent that it can put a two-ton elephant to sleep. I can't find it. I've failed you. Oh, you mean a two-ton tonic? I keep a bottle on the top shelf. People drink that? Of course. It's gone now. It figures that the last thing I needed to remove a carnivorous beast from my basement was destroyed by you. There must be something left. What part of it's all gone? Don't you understand? The recipe is the only thing left. Eat that for all I care. A recipe? Yes. Come. I have an idea. Her, his mom. His mom probably, right? No. In spring, Hamrick had the Sith Scythe had the scythe ready. He 
knew the seeds would sprout in fertile soil and wait for the rain. He could use fertilizer or spring. Okay. Seeds. Sprout in fertile soil. For the rain. He could use fertilizer. Or poisonous fungus to make them grow. Being careful, all the same. The swarm of locusts would eat all of them while Jelena watched. that I had the sight. Oh, okay, I need to go get the weapon. Sick. I think that's a weapon, right? Like an uh, axe? It is. Okay, we're good. We're good. I got an idea. Maybe I can make seeds grow, poison them. Yep. Fertilize it. that to the locusts. Hopefully they'll die because it's poisonous. Hell yeah. That's what's up. pretty awesome man I, I just don't know what else to say I'm so like amazed at how this game came together I mean it's pretty simple the mechanics and everything but it's really really well put together uh, they're gonna come back darn it the locust I didn't do it quick enough oh no they're gone yes with a Vikings close by he had to hurry Sith in hand the harvest was ready, but it had to be mixed with water in the pools. Harvest was ready. Jesus. 
Oh my gosh, I have to get back up? No way! I'm so screwed. I tried to sneak by him. Alright, here we go. I'm not even gonna grab the site and sit this time. I screwed up. I screwed up twice. Three times. Four times. I made that. <laughs> That's how it ended? You give him the beer? Oh my god, or the mead or whatever you call it. It was amazing. Jelena, you are magnificent. How did you do that? was still eating her prey, so Hamrick slipped in the two-ton tonic to knock her out. He slipped the iron collar over her dazing head. Safe behind bars, he made, he made of Sheria wood she drifted, but a lioness never takes easily to a cage. With the last of her will, she launched herself up and grabbed a bite of Hamrick's arm. Pain shot through Hamrick as he wished it gone and his arm soon returned what mystery lay in this book as he opened the pages he wished for the lioness to say stay safe inside and in that moment the sheria wood broke and the lioness was absorbed into its glowing light very interesting i thought i tied putty tat bronze playstation trophy all right, so we got rid of the cat. That guy is going to fall over the edge. Hold on, sir, I'll save you. Save the drunk. Find a way back to town. the way back to town is it nope it sure isn't <laughs> look at him dude <laughs> this must be the twisted tunnels mom always told me there are goblins living here like that like to wear the bones of their prey I must find a way out fast this path goes further than I expected. 
must lead all the way to the royal city. Til tilt o Tilta. Tilto? Where King Udolf and Prince Leofric live. So that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with Hamrick, developed by Below the Game and published by 1C Company here on the PlayStation 4. I do appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So I don't know about you guys, but this game is awesome. I don't know what you guys think so far. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. If you're enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying playing it, I strongly, strongly suggest you pick this game up. Like, it's quirky, it's witty, it's ridiculous. I love every single bit of this game. The uh, gameplay mechanics, the puzzles, everything just works out so well. The parts when you're kind of like in between the castles, going across the bridges with the words underneath you, it's everything... It just plays out so well, and I can't wait to play more. I'll definitely be jumping back in really soon to record episode two. If you're into it, let me know down below. I really would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, leave them down below. But that's going to do it for this gameplay. I'll see you in the next one.